there she is. Not too shabby. Well, it's pretty not bad. Batman Farron, 130 uh Five bucks off Amazon. So we're going to see if we can get that mounted for the old girl. And then we're going to have to come with, up with some sort of windshield to put on her. So friggin' right for that. Awesome. A pretty exciting moment for the old intruder. I finally got something that I've been looking for. And he, as you may have seen in my last video, here it is. It's a bat wing fairing. I think it's We'll see how it's going to look on there. It's uh, It was listed as a Harley Davidson part, but it's just a $135 cheapy deal, so I'm going to have to remove the windshield, obviously, and make some brackets, and uh, get it mounted on there. So it's going to be a bit of a process, and then I think windshields for these things are expensive, and they don't even list one for this one. So I'm just going to make a template out of a... Uh, cardboard or something and see if I can go and get a piece of plexiglass cut and hopefully make a windshield for this. So I'm going to get the windshield off and get this setting in place. See what we got. First thing I'm going to do, I'm not sure if you can see this too good, but there's a, uh, these just screw on and it's got two screws in temporarily and then there's the mounting holes are here and here. Because my intruder's got more of a rake on the front end, like these uh, angles don't line up with the angles of the fork, but that's okay because it's going to be a totally custom bracket anyways. And then there's these little threaded uh, things here that come with the kit. So I'm going to unscrew this and put stick those all four locations in behind and I'm going to glue them in there. So then I can glue those in and then screw these down. And then I could probably just take some flat bar and just roll it to this shape and drill it. And then bolt these on, bolt the flat bars on, and then that will give me my location to start building off of to build my bracket uh, to mount to mount the fairing to the front forks. So I took and I sat a piece of cardboard on like that and traced the shape, then measured four inches, and then traced the shape again. So I got this and. Uh, that's in there not bad like these angles kind of go out but I think I'm just gonna leave it like that so I'm going to go to a glass place and see if I can get a piece of plexiglass or something this shape cut out and I'm also going to go to the metal store get a few pieces of metal and I'm going to see about buying some u-bolts and I think I have pretty well figured out how I'm going to mount this windshield so uh, let's get her going so here's what we got so far. You can see here, it kind of overlaps the headlight just a little bit. But it doesn't touch like this clearance. But I think that's okay because this bike, the way it's designed, you set so low in the saddle that that windshield comes up so high. Like, I only got to add maybe two inches to this windshield. And it will be the same height as the Spitfire I had on there, except for way wider. So I think. I'm just going to have to roll with that. And I went to the glass place and I ordered a piece of plexiglass for the windshield out of the pattern I cut. And that, unfortunately, is only going to be in, in uh, geez, almost a week's time for some reason. But that cost me $22. So that's way better than uh, the price of buying a windshield. And this here is essentially a, it's a cheap knockoff version of the Memphis Shades. The Memphis Shades windshield. The way uh, it mounts in the back and everything, it looks almost exactly the same. So that's kind of an idea of what uh, what type of windshield uh, this is. So you can see I started out with, I just took got two pieces of 1 8 flat bar and I bent them so they form the shape of this and then I, I bolted those on and then I'm just in the starting phase now getting this fit up. But see I took a just a hose clamp, like an exhaust clamp, clamped it on and then tacked this ram bar here. Same on both sides. So there's there's the start of that and 
Even with that, it seems really solid. But what I'm going to do, I got some 3 8 round bar. So I'm going to take the clamps from my Spitfire windshield and clamp them on where they were. And I'm going to run a bar ahead to there. So it'll be mounted in four spots and it'll be very solid then. And that should work good. So I will, hmm, I guess I'll get all that fit up and get things welded out. And I'll get back. All right, I'm just tacked up here, but you can see what I have done. See those? That's the old mount for my Spitfire windshield. You see better here. See that tacked out? That there and there. With the other U bolts. And that there. It's going to be solid. That's not going anywhere. So, there's kind of looks. So, it looks a little weird because uh, the fern goes down on the headlight just a little bit, but it's okay. Here's these, just because of the way I've made this. I think normally, like the Memphis Shades one. This part of the windshield there's a stud sticking out. So I think it's supposed to take these little things. It's supposed to take these bolts, put them in from the back, I'm sticking out like studs, and have these little things screwed on top. But then with the way I designed it, that flat bar sets flat here. So I went with my original plan here. So these I have these glued right now. And the glue is just drying. Then I can unscrew these after. So I'm gonna screw these into the windshield. And I got the brackets off, I'm going to weld those up, clean everything up and paint it. And then kind of show that. And then after the paint's dry and the glue's dry and everything's ready to go, uh, we can reassemble. And hopefully, hopefully we have a, a fairing on our bike. So here we go. Um, it's the next day, so I think the glue is probably, hopefully going to work on these inserts here for the threads. Um, this fairing... It's essentially the cheapest fairing on Amazon. It's by XMT Moto was the seller. Uh, it was $135 Canadian to my door. So with that being said, um, I'm quite happy with it. Uh, there is, you know, like where the screws go in, they're kind of at weird angles. And these don't really, you know, the gaps aren't completely tight and stuff. But if you're buying the cheapest item on Amazon, you can't expect professional quality because the part that counts like the outside shape looks good and it's really nice shiny black paint so it looks good like once it's on there and together you're not even going to notice uh, I noticed there's some terrible reviews on Amazon about this item and it it blows my mind how people can go online, buy the cheapest thing on Amazon, and then expect these uh, highly professional results. But anyways, so since I glued those uh, little threaded inserts in from the back, kind of after the fact, I just wanted to make sure these holes are going to line up. So you can see essentially this is it. These are the clamps, well these are just loose here, but these are the clamps that clamp to the forks, and then these are the bars that go to my uh, handlebar clamps. And uh, you may be wondering, like, how how do you figure something like this out? Like, you bought this universal shield, and you got to set it on. So for, the first thing I did was, I looked at it and established that those were the mounting points. So then I just took these pieces of uh, 1 8 flat bar and bent them to fit on here, so they bolted on. So now that's something that I can work with. Steel, I can weld onto it, I can work off of that. And I also decided that I need it to, to use U-bolts to clamp these to the forks. And initially I thought that it was just going to be four U-bolts, two on each side. But then I seen that it sat so high that that wasn't possible. So I got my U-bolts, I bolted them on in a way where uh, they weren't going to interfere with anything. And then I bolted these flat bars on and then I sat on the bike and I held the fairing up and I just looked at it and tried to decide what I needed to do. Then I seen these U-bolts were kind of near here, so I was like, okay, I just need something to connect the U-bolts to this bracket. So then I put these on, got it kind of where it needed to be, 
marked it, took them off, tacked them up, set it back on again, held the fairing in place, and with the fairing on the bike in place, then I tacked here and here, and got it setting pretty good. And then after that, I figured it's going to need some more support, and then so I just got the idea to use the clamps from my Spitfire windshield and make these bars on top. So, you know, it's just a lot of uh, setting the fairing on the bike, looking at it, deciding what I'm going to do. And I'm sure there's many ways to do something like this. I'm just trying to do the simplest, most effective way, and I think it's going to be a very secure mount. So now, the way it's designed, I'm going to have to bolt these mounts to the bike first and then bolt the fairing on after. So hopefully it all works out. Uh, we'll see. Here's the clamp system, just loosely on here. See? Just U-bolts in there. So now we're going to pick up the fairing and try to get that lined up and bolt it on. It's going to be pretty sweet. And there it is, a Batwing fairing on a 1987 Intruder. Uh, <laughs> definitely wasn't as easy as it looked to install. Once I uh, once I bolted it on, it was setting real crooked here. It took a lot of working. Good thing it all clamped, so it took a lot of working and twisting to get things moved and clamped. But the gap's pretty good now close as I'm going to get it and uh, so there you go that's it I'll grab the camera here and we'll do a little walk around so again this is the uh, cheap Amazon XMT Moto a uh, batwing fairing it's uh, it closely resembles the uh, Memphis Shades one it's I think it's kind of just a knockoff version of that see how the bracket works it looks pretty good once it's on there it just smells like that and then now see it looks good for the speedo I cut the uh, you see in there there's like that uh, little bezel piece that goes above the headlight see I had to cut a notch out of it to uh, before when I mounted it and it was setting lower uh, that was up against the bottom of the speedo limiting where it could set. But then I decided to pull it off and trim it. So uh, now the fairing can sit up higher. Kind of where it's supposed to go. And uh, yeah, it is what it is, I guess. In a way, it's just not used to looking at it. It looks a bit big and funny on the bike. But uh, as long as it works good, and it was a $135 experiment, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, Got to wait till next week for the windshield. So, which is stupid. Today is uh, Thursday, and he says it's gonna be. And he said it's gonna be ready Tuesday. So that's lame. So I guess I'm just gonna have to test drive her uh, with no windshield on it. But what can you do? Right on. So that's the. Uh, Cheap Amazon fairing on the uh, Suzuki Intruder 1400. Well, I'm just all bobbing around here on this beautiful, uh, <laughs> gloomy, windy uh, evening here. But god dang, the bike's running good. Whew. Yes, sir. So, initial thoughts on the Batwing fairing. Um, it's awesome. Obviously, I'm catching lots of wind in the face because I have no windshield. But it seems like uh, from from basically my neck to my knees, it feels like uh, I'm just not getting any wind at all. And uh, I got some highway miles on her now, and uh, that Batwing fairing feels good. It feels, uh, I don't know if it makes a difference, or I just think it does, but it makes the bike have a real solid feel on the highway, and it's nice. So I can't wait until a few days from now when I get that that the windshield cut from the glass place there. And I think this is going to be great. Uh, 
Yeah, dude, so there it is. <laughs> the old fairing intruder. Friggin' right. So yeah, you could really feel it on your arms and your hands and that. You just basically get no wind at all. Uh, it feels real good. Bike's working good, so I guess the next thing to do is uh, put some miles on her, maybe take a trip. <laughs> right on, we'll catch you next time. If you found any value whatsoever in this video, uh, I'd appreciate it if you'd leave a like. And if you want to see more two-wheeled content, um, subscribe. Uh, there's some real uh, neat videos coming up here, I got planned. And we're actually going to do some other types of bike videos uh, beside the Intruder 1400. So if you want to stay tuned for that, uh, you know what to do. Uh, thank you very much. Alright, bye.